My name is Karen Lau. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Norwich, Connecticut, and I currently attend the University of Connecticut. I am most concerned about climate change because it is the most pressing issue of the 21st century. There are so many issues involved in climate change. I believe that, especially in Connecticut, with all of the coastline cities, that the rising sea levels would exacerbate many climate-related issues, and that would result in displaced people. My name is Soumya Nog. I am 14 years old. I live in Southbury, Connecticut, and I am a freshman at Pomperog High School. Regardless of what we do, I know climate change will affect my future to a certain extent, and I'm afraid it will be negative. If we fail to do anything substantial, however, I frankly don't even think I'll have a future. Um, my name is Jackson Hine. Um, I live in Mystic, Connecticut, and uh, I am 11 years old. I think definitely is something I'm scared about because if people continue to do the things that cause climate change, it, if they do more of it, it could revolve into something bigger, into something that might happen faster. I'm Emily Polakowski. I'm 28 years old and I'm a physical therapist that lives in Waterford, Connecticut. What would do a lot would be systemic level changes. So holding corporations accountable, having laws and legislation that would limit the use of fossil fuels or help encourage people to do more sustainable things, but on that societal systemic level. So I think the really important thing now is to try and accelerate that pace. My name is Caitlin Fasile. I'm 24. I'm from Brookfield, Connecticut, and I teach special ed preschool in Waterbury. Climate change is giving me an uncertain future. It's made it so that I don't want to have kids when I grew up thinking that I, I did want to have a family. I work with young children every day and I know that you all have young children too. So I think you should be concerned for their futures and declare a climate emergency. My name is Lily Johnson. I'm 21 years old and a student at Boston University and I live in Mystic, Connecticut. If we don't make the transition to declaring a climate emergency and taxing carbon, it will be monumentally more expensive in the future. My name is Lucas Kugler. I'm 21 years old and I'm from New Milford, Connecticut. A climate emergency bill is vital in my eyes because we can't work fast enough to save our planet. Climate change seems like a broad, faraway issue, yet it affects us daily with extreme weather changes, air quality issues, and rising sea levels for our coastal friends. I want to inhabit Earth until I'm 100 years old, and hopefully my kids can do that too. This climate emergency bill is a step in the right direction to ensure that we will have a home for that future. It's also important for elected officials to realize that if they don't act now in this session and they drag on these issues into the next session, into the next, that we can't create progress towards mitigating climate change. My name is Willa Haroff. I'm 16 years old. I attend Lime Old Lime High School and I'm from Old Lime, Connecticut. One of my main concerns for climate change is that not only are the effects of climate change becoming more damaging to our environment, but they're also becoming more irreversible. My name is Tallulah Johansson and I am currently 17 years old and I live in Windsor, Connecticut at the Loomis Chafee School. When I can vote, then I will vote for someone who will continue to try to pass climate change mitigating policies. My name is Sat McNogg, I'm 11, I live in Southbury, and I go to Long Meadow Elementary School. I want my elected officials to declare a climate emergency. My name is Maddie McCann and I am 16. I'm from Simsbury, Connecticut, and my high school is Loomis Chafee. I am most concerned about the climate crisis because of the everlasting effects of climate change on New England weather patterns and the rest of the weather patterns around the world. I'm Lindsay Taylor. I am 16 years old. I am a junior at Stanford High School in Stanford, Connecticut. The climate emergency bill is very important and we need it right now. I'm Krishma Lawrence. I'm 17 years old. I'm a student at Loomis Chafee and I live in Rocky Hill, Connecticut. In my hometown of Rocky Hill, Connecticut, um, as we rest along the Connecticut River, the risk of flooding there um, is also very great and as climate change intensifies uh, this increases the risk um, to my hometown and the people and businesses who make their home there. My name is Jasper Gitlitz. I am 18 years old and I go to school in Windsor, Connecticut. 
I have a lot of dreams about the future, but unfortunately because of the climate crisis, I'm not optimistic about what my future has in store and what my life will look like 10 years from now. My name is Jordan Korn. I'm 17 years old. I live in Rocky Hill, Connecticut, and I go to the Loomis Chafee School. I think without significant climate legislation, the disparities we're already seeing of certain communities being more susceptible to the dangers of climate change will only worsen. My name is Isabel Harper. I'm 17 years old and I live in Greenwich, Connecticut, and I'm a senior in high school. I'm concerned about so much when it comes to climate change. Everything is so terrifying when it comes to how it's going to affect our food system and how it's going to affect our health. Everything is just so scary and it really affects all parts of our lives. My name is Connor Greeley. I'm a student at Fairfield University. So I think Connecticut needs to pass a climate emergency bill because we have been going in the right direction in terms of legislation, but it has been too little. Uh, having a climate emergency declaration would accelerate things and we'd be able to have more meaningful impacts. Uh, the state could be a leader. My name is Ava Chiller. I'm 13 years old and I'm from Manchester, Connecticut. We have to declare a climate emergency. We do. Yeah. It's important. It's the first step to literally anything and everything is declaring a state of emergency. I'm Denise Kaihan. I'm 21 years old and I'm from New London, Connecticut. What concerns me most about climate change is the furthering of the inequalities that disadvantaged communities face. My name is Karina Chang. I'm 19 years old and I'm from West Hartford, Connecticut. Over the summer, I remember multiple days when I looked out the window and the skies were hazy and this, the sun was a reddish tinge. It was a result of the wildfires that were happening out in the West. And this just shows that climate change is really a global effect. I'm calling on my elected officials to put a price on carbon now. I'm calling on them to declare that we are in a state of a climate emergency and to take direct action because this is their responsibility, this is what we've elected them to do, and now it's time for them to step in and do it. Hi, my name is Brian Kennedy. I'm 21 years old. I'm a resident of Weston, Connecticut, and I am a university student. Climate change is happening now, and it's almost too late to discuss the future because we're seeing the effects day to day that the future will look even more grim. I'm, I'm fortunate that I come from a background with a lot of wealth. I come from a very privileged background, but there's a lot of people in the nation that aren't as privileged and they're gonna experience the, these effects much worse and much more intense. And I think that unless we act now, that it's, the future is definitely gonna look pretty scary and bleak. My name is Jessica Coy. I'm 16 years old and I'm from Waterbury, Connecticut. Climate change is not an issue to be put off or to have minimal attention directed towards. The longer there is failure of appropriate climate regulation, the higher our chances increase of reaching that rise in degrees Celsius. It is a defining issue of our times that needs to be addressed. I'm Jay Srivastava, I'm 17 and I'm from Glastonbury, Connecticut. My biggest concern with climate change is its exacerbation with inequality, especially income inequality. In the state of Connecticut, I'm concerned about political climate action. I think Connecticut has the potential to lead the political climate action agenda, but hasn't stepped up to the task yet. I would love to see Connecticut proposing a climate emergency and really setting the standard for the rest of the states. We must declare a climate emergency. I want my elected officials to pass the climate emergency bill. In order to ensure our future, we must declare a climate emergency. We need to pass a climate emergency bill. The state of Connecticut needs to declare a climate emergency. It is imperative that we, as the state of Connecticut, declare a climate emergency. I want my elected officials to declare a climate emergency in Connecticut. We must declare a climate emergency. It's critical that Connecticut declares a climate emergency. I want Connecticut to pass a climate emergency act. If we don't act now, we don't have a future, period.